Got him. <laughs> well, I think tonight might be a good night. <laughs> that is a solid way to start off the night. First cast, as you guys can tell, I'm on the dock right here. There's my boat right there, still at the launch. <laughs> First cast, and he literally jumped out of the water. There was two splashes when he hit. The first one where he came out of the water and then it took like half a second for him to go back into the water. That was amazing. Sorry, bud. What is going on guys? And I have made it to the pond. I'm gonna be fishing tonight. And the cool thing about this pond is there's large mouth and small mouth. I have a decent feeling about tonight because I literally just walked out onto the dock behind me and caught a two pound large mouth my very first cast. Now fishing at night is one of my favorite ways to fish and using a topwater is my favorite ways to fish at night. And in my opinion, there's just nothing that beats the noise of just a fish exploding on your lure at night. And good news, I think my GoPro is working. Last time I fished at night, I fished in the pouring rain all night and my GoPro wouldn't even turn on anymore. But I waited a couple days and turned it on and it seems to be working fine. So hopefully I didn't ruin my GoPro. A lure of choice to throw at night, like, I don't know, 90% of the time is a Whopper Plopper. Now this is the Whopper Plopper 130. It's the biggest they sell in my area. And this is my favorite color, Perch. Now, in my opinion, the color really doesn't matter at night. If there's a full moon, use white. Other than a full moon, use black. So to me, the color is not really a big deal. It's just the noise this makes, I think, attracts the big bass. But it's really cool because brown bullhead, what they do is they will stay around that bait ball and they'll protect it from predators for weeks. All those tiny little tadpole looking things are baby bullhead. And then the bullhead parents are over there. They're just staying out of my spotlight for right now. They don't like the light at all, but that's really cool. Now it is also supposed to downpour tonight. So that's why I'm wearing my frog togs. It's not raining quite yet, but I definitely don't want to risk breaking more gear so i brought the plastic bag for my good camera and when it does start raining out i'm going to be switching out my old gopro with my new gopro hero 8 because that's waterproof this one not so waterproof so i'm gonna try to do my best to keep the light on for you guys but i typically fish with all the lights off i mean fishing at night kind of has its own set of problems as a youtuber but anyway, I got my Whopper Plopper tied to 12 pound monofilament. And then I have a Abu Garcia combo here. But I'm not doing anything fancy with the Whopper Plopper, just a slow and steady retrieve. Oh my goodness, that was so loud.
I'm gonna turn my light off. That was so loud. Swung and missed again. Got him. Got him. Big in. That's why I come out at night. Big in, big in. Big. Look at the size of this one, guys. Easy four pounder. Easy four pounder. Let's clean her up a little bit. There we go, that's a little better view for you guys. But solid three and a half pounder. So far, both bass have come on the whopper plopper, and both were largemouth. There are smallmouth at this pond as well. There's actually like a 60 foot hole here. But the reason why I'm hooking into largemouth right off the bat here is because just where I'm fishing, it's a little bit more shallow and weedy. The smallmouth here really tend to hang out in the deeper water where it's a little bit rocky. Got him. Oh my God. Oh my God. This is a big one too. Oh my God. Another big one. Oh, oh my God. This one's even bigger than the last. A solid, solid largemouth. You guys had to have heard that one. Oh, another nice Larry. This one's about four pounds. Haven't quite hit that five pounder mark, but this one is pretty close to five. Stomach is droopy. I love fishing at night.
That looks like a nice one. Small mouth. A little bit of deeper water. First small mouth. That is awesome, and what a chunk of a small mouth too. All right, first small mouth for me tonight. And not a bad one, about a two and a half pounder here. Man, awesome, what a heck of a night so far. You're free whenever you want. Underneath the boat it goes. All right, I can't leave my headlamp on anymore, unfortunately. It just attracts too many bugs. Back where I started, it was kind of a little bit breezy, but now that I'm kind of in this back bay area out of the wind, there's just too many bugs. So I guess the light is gonna have to stay off until I catch a fish for now. So that is it for this evening, guys. And overall, I had a pretty good evening. When I first got here, I mean, it was first cast that I caught a fish and it just didn't end there. Caught a bunch of nice fish right away. And I remember saying that the wind died down when I entered this cove, but it turns out the wind just died down on its own. Not because I entered the little cove or anything like that. And when the wind died, so did the bite. I only got one more fish and it was like that small one and a quarter, one and a half pounder. Other than that, nothing seemed to be hitting when there was a little bit of chop on the water when I first got here there was roughly about five mile an hour winds now there's literally like maybe one mile an hour winds and all the fish today came on the whopper plopper 130 and this is in the perch color and I wasn't doing anything fancy today just a slow and steady retrieve Bass like a nice easy meal to munch on. And in my opinion, a whopper plopper is one of the best baits to use at night. There's just something about that plopping noise that the bass just can't resist. But that is it for tonight. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Peace.